Yup. Them boys got lost out in them their hills. Frozen up to the nether regions. You hear? Everybody at Steve Queen's Play Games, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. I said that really quickly. Red Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Red Redemption 2. And so far the game is getting, getting kind of slow paced. I, I really hope I never encounter snow again. I mean, damn. Like when when I last paused the game, I was I was indoors. Let's get to the fire. Get to the fire, and we'll be fine. Run, please, run! For the love of God, go faster. This hurts. This is so so it hurts. What up? Yeah, get jumpy with the rifle. Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh, you asshole. Now I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You Dutch to the rescue. Punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? <laughs> All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! I want this entire driveway shoveled by the time I get back. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. I can barely hear you over the wind, dude. Cinematic camera. I love this shit. I just gotta keep up now. Let's change you, shall we? No, I can't change you. Oh, it's, it's this button. This button? This button. This button. That fella had a Clydesdale. That's a workhorse. The rifle he just gave me, I'm so excited to use it. Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. Lever actions just look so badass to me. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn I, right, boss. I don't understand how with the cinematic camera, the farther away they get, the less I can hear them. Let's cut up here and take a look. They like, said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Like, I know what the Doppler effect is, but that shouldn't really apply. And like, in, in cinema, you gotta be able to hear them from far away. 
But yeah, lever action, badass. Are right, we getting off our horses there, coach? I see smoke. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Hold on, Dutch. I gotta. Mr. Morgan and I. Damn it. We're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. If you hear me scream, come running. Okay, good. Off the horse. Get to a nice sniper position. Or I will not accidentally pull up my gun and kill people. I can't have a conversation with him. So far, the character arc for this uh, Arthur Morgan I'm playing as. He doesn't remind me of an Arthur, by, Arthur, by the way. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur plus Morgan's Arthur. Hey, binoculars. Oh, I can kind of move it. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Is that a donkey? Nah, it's just a horse. That's a pretty one. So, what do you want me to do with these binoculars? It's just going to automatically watch him, I guess. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Yo. Uh -oh. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Oh, I only have my revolver right now. I didn't get the rifle off my horse. Put that away. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Thank you, sir. You two, get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, horsey. Where's my rifle? Is it on the other side? That'd be interesting. Oh, it is on the other side. That's interesting. You're going to need that right. Hold on, man. What the fuck? Oh, hello. Cool. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna switch back to the pistol though. This is just I just happen to have another bag, saddlebag now. Anyway, I was talking about the character arc of uh, this Arthur Morgan fella. I can go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Like, at, at times he just seems like a, a brute, a bit of a lackey for Mr. Vanderland up there. And other times he actually, like, you, you can see his ideals coming to the surface. I'm not sure what to think yet. Deep here. Careful. Uh, how do I? There we go. Can't zoom in. Okay. Wonder where I'm gonna learn how to uh. Use the red dead eye system. Maybe I should take the lead on this. 
They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. He's guarding you from all the beasts. I'm good for health and stamina right now, I guess. Staying low. Come on, follow me. Oh shit. Okay, let's get in cover. Stealth, stealth. What are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. What the hell are you doing? God! Ah, son of a bitch. That was my bad, man. I'm sorry. How do I take cover? Triangle? Oh, you're on my team. My bad. I think you're on my team. I gotta stop ducking now. I gotta remember how to take cover. That is not how you take cover. That's how you jump over something. Uh, circle, circle, triangle. I'm just ducking now. Oh shit, really? There, great. Gotta pump it. Really? I shot your hat off? There we go. Uh, line it up for a headshot. Oh, I'm moving the reticle. Okay. All right, distance. Son of a bitch, stop moving. There we go. Keep forgetting how to fucking use the lever action. There we go. Nice. Fall off. Yeah. All right, reload. What the hell? I can dive. I don't know what y'all fellas are shooting at. No, oh, here we go. Get him in the foot. Really? Nothing? There we go. Oh, he died from that? Bad case of lead poisoning. Oh, hello. Oh shit. We both suck. There we go. Look around. You're gonna die. You yellow belly bastard. Yo. Okay, so I reload automatically when I get to the bottom of the clip. I need to learn how to do it uh, manually. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Damn it. We're moving around in snow. Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! I'm still taking inventory. Nice mustache, bud. What the fuck? Oh shit! Look out! More of the bastards coming out of the tree! Okay, hold on. Real quick, I wanna... Cover. R1. Okay. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, let's fucking... Here we go. Nope. Wrong thing. I want... Okay, they're on horses. I'm using my pistol right now. Okay, hold on. Uh, -bum. There we go. Shit. 
Shit, there's a lot of them. Yeah, well, we got a lot of bullets. Advance, motherfucker. Charge! Okay. Did I? Did I? Did I? Well, that's not very helpful. Here we go. Are you running right at the bastard? I don't have a lot left there. Right in the ear. You still alive? He's dead. We're good. Son of a bitch! Okay, a repeater might be a little better than this. I'm used to the auto cock, you know? You know what I mean? Sounds like a robot rooster. Auto cock, roll out! Walking around like a badass. Yep, that was a tree. Not a bad guy. It's not a bad guy. That is, though, odd how we kind of surrounded you. Okay, this is getting annoying. I do not like fucking repeaters as much as I thought I would. Where are you? You ain't running nowhere, biatch. Alright, let's do some bodies. I might get a new hat. Why are you telling me to do this? Huh. Wonder how I would use that. Oh, maybe like a sneak attack thing. Platinum, eh? Hundred and five bucks. We're waiting on you, Arthur. Oh, sorry. Where's my fucking horse? Oh, we're just having a chat. Okay. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Ow! You get your horse under control. You go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. I can't search this guy. Oh, there's another setting I wanted to fix. Settings. In the very beginning of the game, it asks you if you want to put uh, subtitles on. And it asks you if you want them on, off, or just for missions. And I had no idea what that meant at the time, just for missions. There we go, mission only. So that way I don't have to hear or read what everyone's saying, because I automatically read it. If I'm talking, sometimes I just do it out loud for no reason. I don't need to sneak. We, there's no sneaking. Search. Why is it... Hey. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. You fucking nailed that. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Leviticus. Back up. Let's keep moving. We fucking got that right away. Is there's, there's no more to explore? All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. Excuse me, I'm second in command. Hard as they like. 
but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Bad boys for life. We have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Yeah, my horse's heart is being a little too hard. This head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. We ride together, we die together. But that whole thing, I, I hold down triangle to search a body, but I have to hold down square to search a box. Let's make some ground! Keep it Kaye, motherfucker. Very ominous opening, open expanse over there. The hell? Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cone? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. So, Lasso? I don't think I have that long of a rope. We gotta keep moving here. Come on. So I guess my role in the whole group is a whole seek and destroy thing. Well, I got a rope, so I'm into that kink. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, shit. No. You're not coming with me. Oh, God, no. You're lucky you ain't a high society lady. I'll be putting you on train tracks by now. While twirling my villainous mustache. I'm gonna put your face right near the butthole, too. Oh, come on. Good horsey. Good horsey. We're, we're, we're doing this kidnapping thing together. Okay? Yeah, that's it, boy. What's your yep, name, yep. boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna I knew he was gonna say that. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! What did I just say, Kieran Duffy? Horse bonding. Yay. Re-ring. Oh. Alright, you might fall off here, buddy. One second. It didn't fall off. Cool. I don't know what the point of that is. Make myself look more fearful. Let me go. I'll disappear. I'll go to Mexico. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. See, I think it's his whole capacity for evil that makes me doubt the whole chaotic good thing. I don't even know if I'm using that correctly. They don't tell me nothing. I swear. I don't know nothing real about them. Honest. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. 
Hopefully they're just like finger bones or something. Just, bo just both your pinkies. That's the price you pay here. I have no idea how he's staying on. Oh shit, I'm going off horse. Just staring at my horse's ass. Gentlemen, dinner is served. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Maybe he'll join our group. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. They're the ones that are going to break your bones. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very oh, good. you need him to clarify this map, huh? Home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Uncle! Mag it up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas? Is need shooting? Save fellas? Is need saving? And feed them? Is need feeding? We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. So, the way this game was advertised story-wise is that after a train robbery gone wrong, we kinda find ourselves even more on the run. So, spoiler, I guess. Hey, the snow's going down. Okay. Uh, an another cold day ahead. Really? Just gonna cop out with the weather? I'm, I'm legitimately concerned for your feelings and you give me that horse shit? I got enough horse shit around here without you shoveling that stuff into my mouth. Alright, that means... Like, a capture mission? Is that a lasso? Can I look at a map? Is there a map for me? You got a map for me? I don't... Map. Oh, hello. Map. And that is the only fucking thing to do. Player, Arthur's horse, Coulter. What the fuck is Coulter? Oh, it's just telling me where I am. Okay. Mr. Pearson. Ooh, I get a bow and arrow on this? Hold on. Hold on. Let me clarify that shit. Are we hunting? Oh, we're totally hunting. Gonna bag me a 10 point book, I will. Well, I do declare. <coughs> we're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We you see these hooks absence of food? food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? Austin Pfeffer. I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea. For 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. By eating a human. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. <clears throat> well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're a fatty. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Bait? You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. 
Love the camaraderie. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. And I don't think silencers or suppressors have been really invented Imagine. yet. All right, let's head out. What the fuck is awful? Is that like a reference to its taste? Is it some sort of fish? Or is it the scraps of everything left behind? Charles, I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Thank God the weather finally eased off. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. The thing about snow and sound is that it actually acts as a bit of a barrier. That right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Snow kind of like rejects the dispersal of sound, I guess. That's why it's always so quiet on snowy days if you're outside. You can just hear the crunch of the snow under your feet. Maybe a little bit of a hiss from the wind. Those, they, no, it's, okay. they look like pots and vases and stuff, but it's just a, just a log. That's it. I didn't do this cinematic camera thing, by the way. This is just all the game. I didn't, I didn't hold anything down. And now that there's complete silence, I have no idea what I'm supposed to talk about. I can only talk about something when I'm going to be interrupted by these guys. Ah, it makes sense that we're staying near a water source. These things, these, this, our future snacks need to, need to, need to drink. Come on, let's try this way. Too bad we can't go fishing. Movement, movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Is it too strong? Be is it too strong in that one because it'll carry our scent over to them? Hey, stop here a second. I see something. The last time I tried to shoot something with a bow and arrow, I think I was playing as Atreus in God of War, and I, I fucked that up. Has deer been here and recently? How can you tell? How can you not? Oh, sorry. We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Son of a bitch, keep doing that. Everything around. Well, what if I just make a really, really good shot? Hey, a repeater. Keep down. Move quick. Forwards now. Uh, yeah. Quietly. Put that. Quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? Yes. I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Eagle eye. Oh, over here? Okay. Ooh, it's all shiny. It's, it's glowing white on the white backdrop of snow. You'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Oh, I'm assuming grass is going to glow green just to fuck me over. It's not an unknown animal. You know it's a deer. Unless you're going to surprise me by saying it's like a jackalope or something. 
Alright, we can just cut around this rock anyway. No, don't go left. I'm super fucking slow right now. Is that meter how long this thing is gonna last, or...? Oh, I see it. I see it. Down there. You see him? Yes. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. Oh, yeah. And is there, is there another one? I would assume it would run away. Suck me call. The fuck do I call? I, I know how to raise or match. <laughs> Should it be skinning this son of a bitch or what? Are you going to carry it back or what? Alright, we gotta... Open y'all, open y'all. Then I gotta hold something down to fixate on it. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. This one's looking right at me. Got it. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. I uh... do. Hands okay. Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Dude, I'm taking this one. I don't know where you're going. What the fuck is it? Here it is. Come on, horsey. Come on, Staff Sergeant Clip Clop. Okay, do not be upset that I'm throwing a vaguely horse shaped creature on your back. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? I'm being the fearsome hunter gatherer that I am. Not gonna trap wolves on the way back, are we? Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Right, we gotta catch up and just match your pace. Watch out! Uh, careful. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Don't say that. Maybe we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. The thing about hunting, and I'm not sure if this is 100% correct, but once you he kills... Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Sadie Adler. 
Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... Dutch killed the guy. One of their brothers. Them for years. You knew that. You said it earlier. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Or... Sweet. See if we can find another way around. Fuck no. I want to shoot that fucking bear. What's wrong, Arthur? You must be real hungry. We're back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. That's a bad idea. What are you doing? Get him! Better run. Sorry, my bad. I didn't think about the humans. The deadliest prey. Let's go, boy. That thing was huge. Were you crazy? A little bit. Lucky it scared that easy. Come on, let's get back before it changes its mind. That bear was a fucking bullet sponge. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to leave this shit unfinished. Is there a blood trail I can follow? Oh, we got nothing. Those are kind of tracky. Just checking the landscape, buddy. Yep. Kinda sad I don't get to kill that bear. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Me being a crazy fucker that chases after bears? Being up here? Oh, watch it. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just hopped. Oh, you might have moved on by now. <laughs> you want me to move on? No. Oh, no, not at all. No, you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know. Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. Feels good to be needed. Why ain't you run off? Me? Huh? One year, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of them. And he bought me my first prostitute. We need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. You hear that, buddy? You're replaceable. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. What the hell's Taima? I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. 
Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Oh, his his horse must be time. I must have ridden Taima into the thing to find this fella right here. Staff Sergeant Clip Clop. I'm gonna hitch Taima over here. Not if I hitch my horse first. Come on, get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Literally just throw the rope, whatever, bit, whatever, whatever the rope, reins. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know the word reins before you know the word bit. Literally just throw the reins over a pole and the horse is like, oh, well, I'm stuck here. Just drop it down. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Well, yeah. see you gents later. Man, nobody likes you Uncle. Got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. Oh, you now you're eager to not fucking do anything. You dumped on the floor there. Okay, so hunting. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you kill something, you should probably wait until it's fucking cold before you, you know, touch it. This thing's got to have all sorts of ticks and shit all over it. Not too bad, Mr. Moore. Then again, it's pretty cold outside anyway. Yeah, we said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank I, you, Mr. I think I remember yeah. killing so many the horses. Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Because you get horse meat and hide out of it, you can sell both. It's been a tough few days. That looks fucking terrifying right now. A few days later, I've unlocked a Master Hunter challenge. I'm gonna kill a bear and wear a tide. Been a bad few weeks. I'll be the bear man. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell, who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? last rights. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? It's like a whole well, yeah. church. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still. Son. The hair makes me think of Norman Reedus. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. I missed you too, honey bunches of oats. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Look how much brighter everything is there, Hosea. I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice? 
have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Uh, hopefully this only takes ten minutes. Double tap X to move over the voration or double tap R1 and drop back. Alright, I'm just gonna hold down X. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a Grizzlies? Spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Riding's kind of obligatory at this point. My name's Arthur Morgan. I'm a cowboy. No. Nah. Bang, 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 bang. I'm the rootinest, tootinest Arthur Morgan around. Ah, shit, it got dark again. Looks like I'm looking through a glass pane. Out of the snow, finally. Out of the widescreen. But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. Don't get all sentimental on me now, Dutch. Ready for this, kid. Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. Oh, there's gonna be a mistake. Then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. I'm Arthur Morgan, and I have no opinion on this. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Arthur! Yeah, what's up? Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on! That's There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh! Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! Here, Billy, 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 Billy. Ow! Damn it. I'm gonna have a snack now. Huh. 
Nim, 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 nim. A little more. A little more. Yeah, let's not fall down any mountainsides again. Shit ain't. That shit ain't safe. What up, Billy? How do you get how do you get Bill from William? How you getting on? How do you get Dick from Richard? You ask him nicely. Of course. <laughs> Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I'm gonna blow you up accidentally. As far as cowboys go, this is engineering right here. Cause I'm TNT. I'm off the water and I'm dynamite. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. We're going for the bear bonds. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. How do I... Item wheel. Oh, cool. Oh, I just had that tucked in there, okay. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Fuck bitches get paid. And now, here we go. What? Oh, I'm gonna have to shoot it. No, what? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh, now we're running after a fucking train. Alright, change of plan. Course correction. Let's fucking go. You idiots. Come on, Lenny. the last station. Come on, we need to stop this God damn, you could have just hit him in the head. You want me to take him? I fucked up last time, so Yes, you go. Dude, he can still scream, come on. That did not work out very well. Thank you, buddy. I'm a, I'm a eat in the middle of this fight. All right, something fully restores. Here we go. Really? 
Really? Am I, am I the fucking repeater again? Or what should we call it? I'm trying to shoot this guy. The train, the, the movement of the train's actually fucking me up a little. Let's keep moving. I'm trying. Okay, what am I using? This is a repeater. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm good. But no, I do want a repeater. Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention. Alright, give me your shit, bud. We have to stop this train. We have to stop this train. Oh, that guy was married. I feel bad. I would like to aim my gun now. I'm okay. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. I'm sorry, what's our mission? Do we have to stop this train? Get him off me! Fucking nailed it. You're welcome. Yeah, just grab any lever. Lucky bastard. Ow! Fuck! Take cover, man. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know how to make that happen. What the fuck? Did I get shot in the face? What happened? Oh, fucking Lenny. Get your shit together, Lenny. Alright, we gotta switch back to the revolver. I kill you. Okay, that guy's femur's taking so many bullets. Oh, cool. Oh, I stay right handed. That's interesting. Other games, you just switch hands. I think so. Good. Shit! Damn, Who is this guy? Doing good, kid. Some sort of magnate. Debutante. Really? Your hat again? There we go. Oh, body to rob. Nice. I would like to rob the body now. You got this. I do? Or were you talking to yourself? There's still more coming off the train! Come on. What are dual wielding to think? Are this these my guys or I can see now why the O'Driscolls brought so many boys up here for this. Parker, get over here. Getting over here. This is not the train robbery going wrong I thought it would be. Well, it did get pretty shitty earlier, but I just automatically pick shit up from that guy. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. Gatling gun. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four. Gatling gun. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. It's unfortunate. Up, Should, does anyone know sign language? Ah! 
Bad the hammer. Can I hit the lights? I can't hit the lights. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Huh, <laughs> on my boot. And now we run, right? Unless you got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. For a second it didn't I thought it was gonna explode and I was gonna damn it, Bill! Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Am I getting in last or what? Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Let's just live here. I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive the payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation, Amarino. As a reading the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar and the lead in oil development company dated November 9th, 1998. Come on. Come on. Uh, can I just keep it or. Let's read this. Hmm. <laughs> there. See? Oh, I'm holding on to it, am I? That's how it's done. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Dude, bonds? those are the bonds, dude. I don't think so. Ah, damn it. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we Dink? all know you can read. Oh, oh, Brandy. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? <sighs> Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat. I think I can hear a pocket watch. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Working on it. Yeah. A stack of bills. How's it looking in there? I wonder how much shit I can fit in there. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Hello, hello? No, this looks like Let's some. Let's keep looking. Goddamn obstacles. Just passports? These just seem to be contracts. Arthur. I got some bonds. I think I got them. Nice. Thank God. We weren't very well protected. <clears throat> Aside from the whole of this thing being a tank. Okay, seriously, where's the ticking coming from? Ticking. There we go. I wanted to steal a pocket watch. Let's hurry this along now. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay, boss. I got this. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three, so behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Get on the train. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here.
maybe it will reach an unfortunate end. Sixty six cents. Fucking A. Hey, a pocket watch. Ah, oh, we're all coming away winners today. That was apt. Good job, Staff Sergeant Tuplop. And now we're partying, right? This is this is party worthy. We own those bearer bonds now. They're bearer bonds. They they belong to whoever is bearing them. So I don't really understand how money comes out of it, but we'll see. I'm gonna learn all about accounting from this game. But mom, I'm learning. <laughs> so, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. I understand trouble's behind us, but that's when he usually bites you in the ass. Can I pause this? I can't pause this. Alright, that's about enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. I thought that train robbery was going to go a little bit different. Hey look, it's my pocket watch.